Weeks now since much of Western North Carolina was devastated by Hurricane Helene and some local hometown heroes are back after being deployed to help with the recovery efforts. Now your side's Lauren Beachy spoke to some members of the North Carolina Task Force 10. Lauren's in our newsroom tonight. Lauren, what exactly does this group do? Ken, they are an urban search and rescue team with swift water components under North Carolina emergency management. The team is made up of people from New Bern and Greenville, and they spent 13 days in the West helping with rescue and recovery efforts. Uh, we were initially assigned to um, Richmond County, which is in Rockingham, North Carolina, and we spent the night there. We got up on the 27th and we were repositioned to um, Western North Carolina. They worked from Polk County to Chimney Rock, then McDowell County. Initially, there's lots of mudslides, um, trees down and everything. That's what we really encountered in Polk County. Um, that was a new thing for our team. We're, we're very familiar with a lot of flood water in eastern North Carolina, but we weren't really familiar with mudslides. Some of us have been on this team a long time, and uh, once we got there, we, none of us have seen uh, just, I'd say, devastation like they had out in western North Carolina. They helped in any ways that they could. We assisted um, four individuals. We evacuated 11 individuals and we did four rescues. A lot of that we worked with some other teams, so there could be a crossover between the teams on the numbers that we worked in. And then we also encountered 34 shelter in place where the people decided they didn't want to leave their structures. A physical and emotional toll. Uh, it was it was a long, like, exhausting process to make sure that we searched every single home, accounted for every single person, um, and then tried to you know rest and recover ourselves so we were able to get up in the next day and do it again. I mean, 13 days is kind of a long time. And most importantly, a way to give back. It was humbling. A lot of us been through a lot. We you know Florence hit Newburn years ago, and for us. We had so many outside units come help us out. So for us to go to the western part of the state and help them out, it, it, it was kind of rewarding for rescuers too, um, to be able to give that back. They also say that this mission set out initially as six people, then about 14 others joined them halfway through the deployment. In the newsroom, Lauren Beachy, 9 on your side. Lauren, thank you.